Learn how to disable Windows 10 update permanently until you turn it back on step by step using the 6 most actionable and guaranteed methods available. A quick disclaimer before getting started, disabling Windows 10 update is not recommended as it can leave your computer vulnerable to security threat. Windows often releases these updates that contain fixes for plenty of security issues. The only reason you want to disable this feature is because of the data problems such as lack of unlimited data connection or use of mobile data that would cost you money to download items from the internet. That would only be the reason you to disable windows update still if you have other compelling reasons to disable windows update you can follow this step method one disable windows 10 update service and background intelligent transfer service the windows update service is responsible for checking and downloading updates for microsoft windows operating system and its components from microsoft's update service when updates are found it downloads and installs them on the user's computer the windows update service also manages the installation of optional updates such as language packs and driver updates to ensure that the user's computer is up to date with the latest security patches and bug fixes. Alright, let's learn how to disable it. Open the services app by pressing Windows plus R and this will launch the run dialog box. Uh, you need to press services.msc and press enter. Alright, here we are in the services windows. We need to scroll down and find the windows update service. I'm gonna sort it out by name by clicking it over here and I'm going to scroll it down alright here we have windows update now what we need to do is right click on it and select properties alright here we are in windows update properties window for local computer alright now what we need to do is go to the startup type here we have this drop down click on it and here we have plenty of options such as automatic delayed start automatic manual and disable what we need to do is select the, dis the disabled option moreover if it is currently running you can see the service status here it says it's running we can stop it all right and for some reason if we want to restart it later in the future we can simply click on this start button over here and it will restart yeah, so I'm gonna stop it for now and when we are finally done with this we need to click on apply and then click on up ok in the same way bits is a background service that manages the downloading and uploading of files for various application and system tasks it operates in the background minimizing its impact on the user's foreground activities background intelligence transfer service prioritizes network bandwidth uses ensuring that the critical tasks have priority over non-essential transfers moreover it can resume interrupted transfers even after system reboots or network outages bits is commonly used for downloading windows updates software updates and large files from the internet it also plays a role in synchronizing files between devices and backing up data now if you turn off background intelligence transfer service it can have impact on other application as well that uses the internet in the background but if you want to disable windows 10 update permanently it is recommended that you turn the service off at a cost that other application can stop using internet in the background if you feel like this is affecting your system you can always come back here later in the future and turn that back on just keep note of that so let's find background intelligence transfer service and turn that off Here we have background intelligent transfer service. We need to go to properties, uh, startup type disabled, and it is already stopped. By the way, uh, let me quickly start this. All right, now it is running. If you have a service status like this running, you need to just click on stop and then you need to apply and then okay. So the second method is using group policy editor so we need to open group policy editor app by placing windows plus r and then type gp edit gp edit dot msc and then press enter this will open local group policy editor i'm gonna maximize this then we need to navigate through a few folders here let's go to computer configuration we are already in the computer configuration then we need to go to administrative templates then windows components double click on this and then we need to find windows updates we can expand this drop down or double click it from the list over here 
uh, let me search Windows Update. Uh, where is Windows Update? Windows Update. All right, let's double click on Windows Update. And what we need to do is find configure automatic updates. Configure here we have configure automatic updates and it says the state is not configured and the comment is no. Now let's double click on this configure automatic updates. Uh, let me maximize this. Here under configure automatic updates there are three options three radio buttons not configured enabled and disabled we need to select the disabled and then apply and then okay and this will basically turn off the windows automatic updates from the group policy editor all right the method three is disable windows automatic updates using registry editor so we need to press windows r again and type rez edit res edit and then press enter and it will ask me for permission and i'm gonna click on s here we are in the registry editor now we need to navigate through a few items here so i'm gonna unexpand these items that i did previously so let me do this quickly all right let's go to sq local machine and expand this then go to software and expand this then go to policies if there is policies yeah here we have policies let's expand this and go to microsoft and then expand this and here we must have windows and what we need to do is right click the window folder key and go to new and then let's click on key let's name the key as windows update without spaces windows uh w capital and update u capital without space all right we just created a new key here inside uh windows folder now right click on this windows update key the newly created windows update key let's go to new again and let's select key and let's name this au which stands for automatic updates let's press enter now let's click on the au key and let's right click on here in the empty space and uh let's select new dr 32 bit value let's name this no auto update and then press enter and now let's double click on this and let's set the value to one from zero and then click on okay and we are done with the disable windows automatic updates using registry editor method once we are finished off with this all you need to do is restart your computer but wait there is more to do before you restart your computer so i'm going to close the registry editor and the method fourth is to set your wi-fi connection as metered to do this we need to open the settings by pressing windows i and that's the hot key to open settings then we need to go to network and internet so i need to go to properties so here we have metered connection and then we need to turn this on and if we do this this will tell windows 10 to only download and install updates when you are connected to a metered network so that's one of the methods to turn off automatic updates in windows 10 so the fifth method is to rename or delete the update files we need to open the file explorer for this and navigate to drive c and then go to windows let me find the software distribution and here we have this folder called download so we can either rename this or delete this so right click on it and rename download dot old and then press enter it will ask for administrative privileges so you need to click on s to grant that and here we also have data store we need to rename this to data store dot old click enter and then yes 
and this has been renamed uh, on the other hand we can select both of these and then delete them what this will do is this will prevent windows 10 from being able to find an install update however it is important to know that this is a temporary solution and windows 10 will eventually download the update files again by creating a new directory so you need to keep that in mind and the sixth method is using third party tools there are plenty of third party tools that you can use to disable windows 10 update some of the most popular choices include stop updates 10. stop updates 10 is a free open source tool that can be used to disable windows 10 updates on both home and pro editions it is easy to use and does not require any technical knowledge. Another third party tool that you can use to disable Windows and updates is the Windows Update Blocker. It is another free tool that can be used to disable Windows 10 updates. It is a bit more complex to use than Stop Updates 10, but it offers more options and customizations. The third tool that you can use is W10Man. It is a powerful tool that can be used to manage Windows 10 updates, not only to disable updates, but also to schedule or hide updates. <coughs> the fourth tool in our list is Windows Update Stop. Win update stop it is another free tool that can be used to disable windows 10 updates it is easy to use and does not require any technical knowledge however it is important to note that these tools might not be as reliable as the methods that i explained earlier in the video only download tools from trusted sources and read the reviews of the tool before using it also back up your system and create a restore point before applying these tools be prepared to troubleshoot problems if the tool causes any issues last but not least to disable windows 10 updates can be a risk decision and it is important to weigh the risks and the benefits before you do it if you are concerned about the risk, it is best to keep your system updated. Anyways, if you find this video about how to disable Windows 10 updates prominently, give me an up button subscribe to let you know that you are enjoying what you are watching. For more videos that you subscribe like this one, check out this playlist. If you have any issues, write it down in the comments. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care.